Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sylvia. I post lifestyle videos all the time. But I do have to apologize to you guys that I haven't uploaded any videos in the last few weeks. And I also want to give you a reason for why I haven't done that. I've been job hunting, so I've been really busy um, sending out applications, conducting interviews with uh, employers, and I do not have a job yet, but I will, I'm hopeful that in a few months, in a couple of months, I will have a, a good job. So I will keep you posted. But that's the reason why uh, I haven't uploaded. I've been so crazy busy. But what, what is today's video about? Let me tell you. So um, last week, I think it was, uh, a viewer of mine um, commented on one of my videos and said I haven't um, updated my routine with the microneedling pen. I've only um, uploaded two videos and she was wondering whether I'm still using the pen and if I've seen any results. So thank you so much for the suggestion to upload an update. Um, I have been, in fact, using this um, for since I first uploaded my video. And if you haven't seen that first, very first video of mine, I will link it up here. In this Ooh, got a mind of his own. <laughs> I will upload it here um, in the in the corner and also put it down in the description box. So I've done two videos on that. The very first video was kind of a raw footage. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, can't wait to get started. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I will link my videos up here. Um, you can also find them in my uh, playlist of anti-aging where I um, review devices and products that help us to anti-age. So I think I started using this device, the Sora microneedling device, about maybe four months ago or five months ago. I, I don't even remember how long it's been. Um, but they recommend to do the, a treatment every four to six months, and that's what I've been doing. So I, I took a video of my very first uh, treatment, of my second um, microneedling treatment, and then I skipped the third one. And I think, in fact, I may have skipped the fourth one too because I already uh, reordered um, these, these cartridges, these needles, um, and... Um, the original package, so this device comes with a three of these, and I've used them all up. Then I reordered some of these, um, and I've used already used one of those. So um, I think I've done it four times um, total, and this today will be my fifth time microneedling. So I have been doing it for about I want to say about four or five months. Have I seen any results? So um, oh, let me start with why am I even doing this? Why am I torturing myself like this? Right. Well, my um, my viewer said, I don't know how she did. She didn't know how old I was, so I'm gonna share this with you right now. I'm 51, so I am I'm I'm a pretty uh, respectable age, right? <laughs> I've made it pretty far in life, so um, uh, definitely middle aged or even past middle age. I don't know whatever you consider middle age. I don't know, but um, so yeah, I have a lot of skin skin issues. Of course, I have um, wrinkles. I don't know if they show up. I have my 11s. I have crow's feet, I have wrinkles right here. I show you all my wrinkles. I don't have a problem with that. I have bags under my eyes. I have uh, hooded eyelids. I have, of course, these um, uh, nasal labial folds. I have problems, you know. I have uh, uh, big pores. I have hyperpigmentation and just things that you get over the years, over the decades, I should say. So I actually had been going to a cosmetologist or whatever those people are called. Actually, I had been going to a dermatologist's office to get the prof professional microneedling done a few times. And I, it, it was good, but it's also very pricey. So I thought, um, that's why I thought I, I, I'm going to buy this device. This was relatively inexpensive. I bought this directly from the company, but you can also purchase this, for, purchase this from Amazon. And I will put a link down in the description box. So, um, and I thought, yeah, if I, the microneedling, and I talk a lot about this in my very first video, what microneedling is, how it works, that it creates these little micro uh, punctures in your skin, and then your skin um, responds by producing extra collagen to, to, to heal the skin, and that's what kind of plumps your skin a little bit. But if you're interested in all the background, please watch my first video. I, I talk a lot about this. So, um... 
So have I seen results? Um, well, in terms of wrinkles, I'm not really sure. I have also been using the the, um, the Trinity from um, New Face, that um, microcurrent device. I've made a video of that as well, which I can post up here as well if you want to see it. Uh, so, I've, of course, I use a lot of products on my skin to fight the aging and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't think it's done every, anything for my wrinkles. But I definitely can, um, I notice. Okay, it's enough. You go away. So, <laughs> but I've definitely noticed uh, an improvement in the texture of, my, texture of my skin. So, my the texture of my skin has actually never been too bad. I don't have any big scarring or anything like that, but I do have big pores, especially here on my cheeks and my nose and also a little bit of my chin and my forehead. Um, and I also noticed, and I'm not sure if it's the result of the microneedling device or if it's the result of the, um, the, um, the microcurrent device from New Face or maybe a combination of both. Um, but I also I know I noticed my pores look a little better now actually. So it's definitely not gonna make it look worse. Um, so I think it takes time. It's a time commitment. Um, it's not super expensive if you do it at home. Um, one thing you do have to keep buying uh, is are these needles, these cartridges. So you can only use them one time. Please do not use them multiple times. You have to toss them after you use them. So yeah, I think um, it's uh, just I'll just keep going with this treatment, and I will see um, what the results are. I, I will maybe I'll try to insert some pictures from my very first treatment, um, and you can you can be the be your own judge, right? If you if, see if it's if it's if it looks any better. But um, what I wanted to say is um, I've learned a few things along the way, so I know a few things that make the treatment better. I th I think that make it easier. And I'm, I'm going to share them with you today. So the first thing, how you get started is, of course, you clean your face really well. So it has to be a clean face. Now, I don't, I don't use gloves for the treatment, but I did wash my hands and I used a sanitizer on my hands. So I have very clean hands. Um, so everything is clean. Then I move on to the numbing cream from Ibanel or Ibanel. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's called NUM520. It's a top, tropical anesthetic cream. And I really think this helps. So if you're not very sensitive, then you don't have to use it. It's not something you have to do, but I found that it really helped me. The first time when I did the first uh, my first treatment, which I made a video of, and like I said, it's raw footage because, <laughs> because I did uh, express a lot of pain in that video. Um, I didn't let it work on my skin for long, long enough. So the second time I used it, I let it sit for about 20 minutes and that's about how long it takes to really start working on your skin, right? Um, and I'm gonna apply that. I let it sit for 20 minutes and then I will come back and we're gonna walk. I'm gonna take you through the different steps um, that I do to do the microneedling. So let me just apply this. You have to be very generous. So don't be, um, don't skimp on any areas. Especially the forehead is really painful because this is kind of the, the bony area, right? You have a, you don't have a lot of skin there, a lot of uh, thickness, a lot of fat, body fat. So it hurts a lot on the forehead. Um, then I do apply it on my cheeks. I come pretty close to under my eyes, which I don't know if I would recommend that for everyone. I just wanted to say that um, I'm not a I'm not a esthetician. I'm not a doctor, not a dermatologist or anything like that. I'm just a user, right? I'm just sharing my own experience with you. And I urge you to be uh, careful with this treatment, right? Don't ruin your skin. I mean, be careful. Always start slow. Get as much information as you need to get started. I also do use it along my jawline. I've been trying to get rid of my jaws, which is kind of terrible. <laughs> it's ah, age just keeps on giving. So, okay, so now I applied it everywhere on my face and I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes and then I will come back and we will get started 
then this little guy can finally um, get active. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I let the numbing cream sit on my face for 20 minutes. And then I washed it off thoroughly. Um, so again, um, sanitization is really key to this um, treatment. You got to keep everything clean. So if you use a numbing cream like I did, you really have to make sure that you wash it off before you start with the microneedling because you can't work that into your into your pores. There actually have been a few studies that said um, people, they had some really bad um, reactions to this. Uh, so please rinse it off your face make sure your face is clean and fresh before you get started right my cat wants to join us again okay so one thing i learned is um instead of trying to use this device in fact you know what i'm gonna insert the needle now let me start with this so i'm gonna open this little package this little pouch here and it folds out like this. It still uh, has a top on it, so um, it really stays um, clean until you take this top off. In fact, I'm gonna insert it first into this um, thing. You just you just screw it in, basically. You make sure it's, it's all the way screwed in, okay? So all I have to do now is take off this top uh, and I can get started. But before I do that, um, I'm gonna apply some hyaluronic acid to my face. So I, I use the one from Esterwood Naturals. And it's an, as you probably know, if you're watching this video, that hyaluronic acid is very big in anti-aging. It's a very great anti-aging serum. So it's included in a lot of products, a lot of anti-aging products. So uh, what I've learned is if you want to apply this before you do the microneedling, you can, you can work it into your skin. Um, I will talk, okay, I got to I will talk about it. Um, I will talk about what to use after the treatment later, or what not to use. So um, stay tuned. Please keep watching. Um, but before you start, you can use any, let's say, a high quality hyaluronic acid. You don't. You don't have to use this one if you want to. I can definitely link it down in the description box for you. I got this from Amazon, like most of my stuff. <laughs> um, Teddy, that's my cat. Stop it, or I will microneedle you. <laughs> what are you eating? Ugh, terrible. Anyway, um, so I just take one dropper of hyaluronic acid. I put it into my hand. Yes, my hands are clean. Then I rub it and I apply it to my face. Don't rub it in, but just spread it across your face. So I do put it down on my neck, but I'm not going to microneedle my neck. So, okay. So now that is on. What I also do, because one of the things I've learned, um, this is probably the biggest thing. So I used to just tap, so it still have, has the top on. So I, I used to just tap around to let the needles penetrate my skin, but um, actually you can just slide it across if you has, have enough slip on your skin. So you, your skin can't be dry for that. So you gotta put something on your skin that makes it slippery. So I got this um, this oil. You can actually use any kind of oil. You don't have to use avocado oil. This is a 100% pure oil, so I think it's a it's a good um, oil. But you can also use almond oil or coconut oil or whatever whatever you want. Anything that gives your your um, face a good makes a slippery slope for the microneedle. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, let me okay. let me just open this. So I recently got my nails done because I'm taking a little trip next week and um, I don't have, um, I don't get fake nails very often. So these are solar nails. But when I do, I mean, I love them, but it's so hard to open anything, a can of soda or a can of anything, right? It's just so hard. So even getting this little, little piece off the bottle is just... I usually use knives to get <laughs> to open my cans now. So let me... Um, I have to probably have to reapply because it does, you know, dry up pretty quickly. But Teddy, go away. Go away, Frank, little boy. Okay, so now I'm going to start here um, on my uh, right side of the face. I'm not going to start on my forehead because it's too painful. 
Okay, guys. So. Okay, let me just. So now it's so slippery, I can't even get the top off. Okay, so I do recommend taking off the top before you put the oil on your face because once your fingers are uh, oily, it's really hard to take off. Okay, so it, as I've said before in my very first video that this um, has three different speeds, fast, medium, and slow. And I like to use the fast speed, the fastest speed. And you also can change here on the uh, right here, as you can see, you can change the depth of the needle penetration into your skin. So I like to start at 0.5. It's not the lowest setting. You can start at 0.25, but um, I'm gonna start at 0.5. I've actually worked my way up to 1.5 in some areas, but we're gonna start, take it slow, okay? So let's get started before this dries up. So fast. So the key is just don't push down. Ah! Just don't push down too hard, right? You just very uh, hold it. And I'm gonna use my mirror here because I can see better in my mirror. So I have crow's feet that I wanna treat here. I go under my eye, my puffies, right? So it does hurt a little bit. Yeah. Let me turn this off real quick. So. I may not go beyond 0.5 today because um, this actually hurts a little bit. So my cat kind of irritates me. Okay, little boy, you're going to say hello to my viewers. This is my cat, Teddy. I think I've shown him before. He's a really sweet boy, but he's very attached to me. So he follows me around everywhere. Don't even act like that, mister. I know you love me. Okay, there he goes. Now he's gone. Okay, now back to the migraine again. Okay, so I got it on three, speed three, and if it's slippery enough, your skin, you can just move it back and forth, right? So just move it back and forth. Don't push down too hard. That's what I did at the beginning. But you can really just... I'm gonna stop talking now because it is a little painful and it <laughs> right so now I got these lines here that I want to treat okay now I'm gonna go, I don't know if you can see that my face is pretty red. It is pretty red, to be honest. I don't know, can you see that or is the, are the lights kind of, so it is this side that I just treated is pretty red. So um, don't be scared. It's It hurts a little, but it's not bad. Like I said, use a numbing cream that really helps, but make sure you let it sit on your skin for at least 20 minutes. The longer, the better. Um, do my chin and my upper lip. I don't know if I can do my upper lip. That's kind of painful too, but we're gonna try. Oh. Sorry. Just gonna do a very quick path across my upper lip. Oh, okay, it hurts. Okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is apply more, more oil to this side of my skin and also my nose. I'm not sure if I can treat my nose. We'll see. But if that if it doesn't show up on the video because it's really kind of light and bright in here, this is really red right now. But 
yeah so please 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 i'm urging you be careful don't put a high don't use a high setting start at the lowest setting see how see how it works for you okay so it's um yeah Okay, I'm pretty red. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So now I'm going to go back to the areas that are not as red. If you want to do it under your eyes, be very, very careful, okay? Okay, so I'm going to try to do my nose, but I don't know if that will work because my nose is always, it always hurts a little too. Maybe I put it on a lower setting. I mean, I'm... So I just did my nose and I was very gentle on my nose. So I'm gonna um, move to this side again and treat the areas that are not as red. Okay. Okay, so I'm, and now I'm gonna move up to the forehead. Um, I'm gonna focus on my crow's feet here on the side of my eyes. I'm gonna do my, try to do my forehead. And I put a lot of attention on my 11s here. So just so you know it, yes, I've done uh, Botox before and I've done fillers before, but it's been about fillers the last time i got fillers was about two years ago and last time i got botox was about one year ago so there's literally nothing left maybe I'll start on this side accidentally oh, always ah ah that hurts <laughs> 
<laughs> that is painful. Okay. You know what, guys? I need more of that of that oil to create a little bit more slip here on my forehead. It does hurt. I'm not going to do my hairline. Um, in my first video, I talked about how I have frontal vibrosing alopecia. And yes, microneedling is supposed to help, but it's just, for me, it's too painful. I sometimes use the roller, right? And I lose, use like a million other products to get my hair growth, as you can see here, get my hair growth, I stimulate my hair growth again, but I don't know. I don't think anything helps, but okay. I don't want to suffer if it doesn't even help, you know? So let's do that. Okay. It is painful, let me tell you that. Uh, yeah, the forehead is very painful, at least for me. So I don't do very much on my forehead. I just um, maybe do just one, one simple path. It's just, it hurts so much. Maybe I, I didn't let the, the numbing cream, maybe I didn't let the numbing cream uh, work on my skin for long enough. Uh, since I won't be doing this probably for another six weeks, I want to make sure I get a really good treatment today. So maybe I will get a little bit, try to get a little bit closer to my hairline. Right, because I stopped pretty low here. So I'm gonna try that. This is painful. Right? You can't see how my how red my face is, right? <laughs> oh my. I'm telling you. Okay. My face is fire red, but I will be right back for the finish. Okay, guys, I think I'm done. Um, as you can see, I am lobster red, so... I normally don't have sensitive skin. I would never describe my skin as being sensitive, but this is what I look like after the microneedling treatment. I feel like I got a pretty good treatment in. Again, I want to show you what this um, device looks like. It's the Sora um, microneedling device, the microneedling derma pen from um, Spa Sciences. So this is what the packaging looks like. I will link, link and list everything down this thing. I, I don't think it's done yet. It wants to do more. <laughs> I will list and link everything down uh, below in the description box. And I just, before I finish up, before I wrap up, I want to show you my um, after treatment. So it's really nothing special. Um, I leave the oil on. So it's very red not right now. It burns a little bit. I guess I will call this burning, not stinging. Um, and I use, I've been using this, um, this serum from Matt Maskey. It says, it says it's an after mask vitamin serum. I don't know what that means because after my masks, I usually don't, don't need a, another serum, but it's been really good on my skin. So it's pH balanced, extra smoothing, anti-aging, feeding, protecting and nourishing. So it's really good for the skin. It keeps it hydrated. I apply this several times tonight, um, you know, I just see it's like a gel type um, serum. It's, 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 not a, it's not completely liquid, it's more like a, ooh, I'm running out of it actually, it seems like. Hmm, 
it might be enough for today. So it's, yeah, it's like a gel-based serum, if that makes any sense to you. So I apply that all over my skin. Um, I will do this several times tonight. And the redness should disappear in the next couple of hours. Um, if you are red, um, it's really no big deal. It's what it happens to almost everybody. Sometimes you may even get a little bleeders. So even if that happens, it's not the end of the world. Just give it, give it a few hours, it will go away. However, I want to give you a warning. And I've noticed that um, several people here, several people here on YouTube, they recommend to apply your good products after a microneedling session because now you've cre created all these little uh, punctures on your skin. Your skin can now absorb all these, these great products like vitamin C serum, your retin-A, your, um, your acids, whatever you want to put on your skin. Don't. Just don't. Your skin is really sensitive right now. It's not... Yes, it's got these little punctures everywhere, um, but it's really going to irritate your skin if you put anything harsh on it. So my recommendation is no vitamin C serum for at least, at least 24 hours. 48 would be better. So at least the absolute minimum is 24 hours. No vitamin C serum, no Retin-A products, nothing harsh on your skin. You find something soft that um, a good product, it doesn't have to be this one, but I will link it down below. Um, something that's really smooth and gentle on your skin that will um, take the redness away. Do that for about one day, 24 hours. Don't forget to put sunscreen on if you go outside. It's especially important if you just microneedle your skin. So uh, do that. Nothing harsh. Please listen to me. I mean, again, not a dermatologist or any doctor of any kind, um, but um, you're going to regret it if you put anything harsh on your face. So this was my uh, update on microneedling. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, help a girl out and subscribe to my channel and let me know um, what your experiences have been with microneedling. Um, I'd love to hear it. And um, if you have any suggestions on future videos, as you've noticed today, I do listen to some my subscribers. I make videos, um, the, you know, I make the videos that you want to see. And I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so let's continue. I still have to do this part. And then I may go over a few um, select areas. Whew. <laughs> So I have these lines, like you can probably see them like right above my eyebrow. They're really weird lines that I don't care for at all. So I'm going to do a little path above my eyebrows, just a little bit. I'm going to apply some more of the oil. This really helps with the slip. So that's one of the biggest things I've learned since I started using this device. And I don't know if I've even mentioned it. This is a Sora microneedling device. It comes in a little box. I, I can show it to you in a little bit. I have to get it first. But it's, it's a pretty good device. I like it. There was one side. I just go right above my eyebrow. I honestly, I, I do not know how people can do this treatment without the numbing cream because honestly, it does hurt, really. I mean, and I always thought I had a high tolerance for pain, but. 
this hurts. I mean, this is 7.5, but it does hurt, you know? So please, please, please be careful. Hi guys, I wanted to come back after my microneedling treatment that I did last night and show you what my skin looks like today. So as you can see, it is still fairly red actually. It is um, red pretty much everywhere, but not as bad as as last night. Um, the swelling that I had last night went down and um, my skin does feel a little dry. I feel like I have some peeling in um, in some areas, <clears throat> but um, it, I'm in no pain, of course. Um, I keep um, putting um, uh, skincare products like moisturizers on my skin, no harsh treatments the next day. As I told you, for at least 24 hours, don't use any vitamin C serum, don't use any any acids of any kind or any, any Retin-A products or anything that's harsh on your skin. So what I did was I just washed my face this morning, then I put my sunscreen on, and then throughout the day I'll, I'll just um, lather on a bunch of uh, moisturizers because it does dry out um, your skin a little bit um, and you can experience some peeling. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's what I look like the day after. And I hope you found this video helpful. Um, don't forget to watch the first two videos in this um, series. It's kind of interesting, right, to see the progression of this. Have a great day. Bye.